This, uh, I'd like to have the following folks come up from Cleveland EMS, uh, William Brown and Nicholas Sayre. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And from Cleveland Fire Department, th there were so many folks, and you'll hear it when you hear the story, you'll know why. There were a lot of people from Cleveland Fire involved. There were, we ended up just listing it by the units that responded because I think it was going to be like 30 or 40 paramedics, and it would take most of the program, or folks, it would take most of the program to read them off. So I don't want to slight their contribution, but I think part of it is they, they work as a team. I think they'd appreciate they're recognizing their, their, their unit for what they did. That would be Rescue Squad 3, West Rescue Squad 4, Ladder 10, Engine 10, and Tactical Rescue 5. So if there are representatives from those companies, please come up. On December 23, 2009, a 22-year-old male was involved in an industrial accident where the initial report was that 6,000 pounds of construction material fell on him. Multiple Cleveland Fire and EMS units were dispatched to the scene to render assistance. Now, I wasn't at the scene. I was reading uh, some of the, some of, one of the fire lieutenants kind of told me the story. I read the EMS sheets. I read some of the news reports. And I don't think it's, I, I can't even imagine what this looked like. And you guys correct me if I get the story wrong. But essentially, this guy, this gentleman had been working in a building that was under construction. Uh, some walls fell on him, causing this debris to fall on and trap him. Making this quite a bit more complicated was the fact that the patient was 25 to 30 feet up from the ground, and he could only be accessed by a ladder. Is that we're good on it? Good. Um, so this is, this is sounding like, like it's not going to go well. Uh, the patient was found face down with clear signs of shock and airway compromise. Cleveland Fire and Cleveland EMS responders were able to gain access to the patient to continue to provide care for him, while Cleveland Fire units developed a plan to extricate him. He required breathing assistance and volume resuscitation during the, the extrication process. The uh, fire department units worked together to devise a plan to safely free him from the debris and get him down to ground level while preserving his spinal immobilization because of the probable uh, multiple injuries. And it's probably not a big deal to take, it's probably still a little bit of a big deal to take someone down a ladder, sling him over your shoulder, but when you have to keep him immobilized, it creates quite a challenge. The process took between 15 and 30 minutes, which is very impressive given the challenges that the team faced. When the patient arrived at Metro Health, he's found to have multiple serious extremity crush injuries. Every, all four extremities were seriously injured, head injuries and chest injuries. He, went, he required emergency intubation uh, in the trauma bay. He had emergency blood transfusions, and he went to the operating room to save his left arm, which had no pulse due to damage to both of the major arteries in the arm. He required numerous surgeries over all four extremities over the next three weeks to preserve function. In a recent outpatient visit, he was able to walk and has continued to have improved functioning of his upper extremities to the point that he will hopefully be able to return to occupational functionality. None of this story would have been possible if not for the ingenuity and skill of the responders involved in this incident, both from the fire department and from Cleveland EMS. Please join me in recognizing uh, these individuals for their role on that day. Thank <laughs> you.